Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for July, okay? This is for July, so keep in mind that this could happen at any time in July, and not every reading is for you, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What do we have for Virgo? July. We're not in July yet. Some of you are going to be watching this in July, but this is being recorded in June. But this is a preview of what's to come. So... Mm, that's way too many. I'm not going to do that. What do we have? Oh, there we go. That's one. Mm, one more. What do we have for Virgo? Oh, my God. What a mess. I guess we're going to get two more or three more. Hmm. Okay. Skull. Hidden secrets that can harm you. So we got some hidden secrets that can harm you by the looks of things. July. So July is going to be a prominent month for you. Things are probably going to be really, really hot. Ooh. Weeping Willow. Family Sorrow. Ant. Work, achievement, success. So there is success here. Your hard work is paying off. Romance is in the air. Rose. So romance is in the air, Virgo. There's a hidden secret that can harm you. May have something to do with a family member because it's right next to that weeping willow. July is a very prominent month for you because it came up. So I think there's going to be something big that happens this month. Uh, hard work is ahead because the ant is ahead and you do have romance. Romance is in the air. So yay. So what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? There's a, there's a hidden secret that, it, that can harm you, so you definitely need to be aware. I think it has to do with a family member. What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Mm, money is more important than love. Somebody is in that mindset where their money is more important than love. There's too much going on. There's, there's things, I think that things are, I don't know if there's chaos in your life or th things are a little bit, you may be dealing with a lot of people during this time. Romance is in the air. Now we got shared values. So you may be partnering up with somebody that you have shared values with, making some sort of agreement. You could be working with somebody that is on the same level with you this month. Um, and I feel like this is a new agreement. This working, whoever this person is you're working is, could working with, could be, because it's near the work, achievement, success, in the romance card. You're definitely partnering up with somebody, whether it's in work or love, with somebody that you have a lot in common with. Okay, you may be shaking hands with somebody or just uh, making some sort of agreement. I do believe there's going to be an increase in money. Mm. 
what do we have for Virgo? You need to put in a little bit more effort into something in July, and I think that you are going to be doing that. I feel like you, maybe things are going to um, heat up for you in some way, because July is typically a very, I don't know where you live, but it's typically hot, you know. I think something is about to heat up. You need to put in a little bit more effort to have success. If there's something that you need to do, I think in July you're really going to step it up a notch. Ace of coins, increase in money, which is, that would be very prominent there, the ace of coins. That is an increase. It's a windfall. It's a win. It's a new investment. It is something permanent, solid, stable that you are going to be receiving. This is an increase in your wallet. Some of you, something that you have been working on is definitely going to be paying off. Somebody may be giving you something. They may be making you an offer um, that you should invest in because I feel like there's 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 some sort of long term success with this. You're probably going to be somebody may proposition you in some way. whatever oh we got the magician i just cut the deck the magician is yes yeah, something you as above so below this is something that you asked for a manifestation the ace of coins is manifestation as well this is creating so you may be creating something there's some sort of skill that you have that can uh, bring you success use it use your resources You're going to be in a position of power. You are in a position of power. You're going to be receiving something that, you know, you worked hard for. I think it's some sort of payout or something or an offer or an increase. Somebody wants to partner up with you. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Does it have to be? Money is more important than love. That's somebody in your past, though, because that's over by that family situation, family sorrow. I think that I think that you're dealing with somebody in the past. Ooh, this just came out and came out uh, in reverse. Ten of Swords. That is liberation. It is freedom. This is the end of suffering. There's somebody in your family that may be ill. Breaking free from this. King of Pentacles in the middle. Another uh, solid, stable, secure individual. That could be your energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is hard work that is paying off. I also feel like you're going to be receiving a humongous offer from somebody. To me, I have the Ace, or I had the Ace of Pentacles three times. Golden opportunity. You are receiving a golden opportunity from somebody that sees your value. They got something big to give you. Somebody's going to be giving you something big. It could be even in, it could be money, a gift, inheritance, something. We have death on the bottom, and the Ten of Swords can represent death. So. Um, but de death is also endings that lead to new beginnings. It's a card of transformation, it is a card of profound change. So your life is about to change. You are definitely going to see an increase. King of Cups reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Swords. Strength. Seven of Swords reversed, Queen of Cups, and Page of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups reversed on the bottom. So that is an unhappy relationship, a broken relationship, uh, a dying dream, something to do with the family because this is a family card. There's a, 
family situation that is unfolding here. I don't know if there's been some deception, there's been some lies, there's been some stealing. Somebody has been hiding something. Uh, could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have it three times. The King of Cups reversed, the Page of Cups reversed, and the Queen of Cups. It's very much a water energy, so you could be dealing with a water sign. Uh, I do believe that uh, you're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to restrain yourself. You may need to master your emotions during this time. There's some sort of emotional loss here with the King of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups reversed. Rejection, tears, sadness, emotional withdrawal, emotions all over the place. Somebody's getting their bubble burst. You're going to need to be strong. Uh, maybe you need to know your value. You need to hold on to your value. You may be getting an offer from somebody, I'm just being honest, from somebody that does not have good intentions. You need to be careful with the Seven of Swords reverse. You could be dealing with somebody that is extremely shady. This person, uh, extremely, extremely, extremely shady with the Seven of Swords reversed. I think it has to do with a family, a family member for some reason. Um, two of Pentacles reversed is chaos. Can't do this. We, we have somebody here that has been able to juggle. They have been able to keep things aligned. They've had a lot on their plate, but I feel like there's some sort of fall. You know, there's some sort of fall, you know, or loss here getting caught i don't know if somebody is getting caught they're getting caught stealing it's the straw that breaks the camel's back they've done something behind the scenes it's hidden i f i feel like you're dealing with a water sign I'm just being honest with you family member maybe it's somebody that may married into the family it makes me sick <laughs> It really does. I literally feel sick over the whole situation. But, anyhow, uh, Nine of Swords is extreme despair right in the middle, worried. You have somebody here that um, is going to be giving you something. Definitely, it's something big. Maybe this is this romantic partner. I'm not sure. You're receiving something really, really solid, stable, secure. This is this is somebody that is very clever, very grounded, very practical, very responsible, very realistic. This person um, sees something in you, sees your strength, sees your courage, sees your beauty. It's this King of Pentacles is looking down at this strength card. I feel like you're worried. You're really, really worried. You're in a place where you're wor you may be worried about your money or you're worried about a situation where somebody has deceived another person and I mean, this is the worry. It's it's this is right in the middle. Okay, it's the middle card. This is extremely worried, stressed out, and above it is the King of Pentacles, worried about money, worried about stability, worried about security. Um, I feel like you need to master your emotions, ground yourself, be because you may not be aware that something is coming to you, but it is. There's nothing to worry about. I feel like you've manifested something. You know, we have the Ace of Coins, and then we have the Magician, and then we have the, the, the King of Pentacles, which is the huge Ace of Pentacles. You definitely have something permanent, something solid, something real, something stable. That you are going to, it's going to be in your hands. You're going to get it. It's yours. Somebody is going to be giving you something. But you may, you may be protecting yourself. You may be very scared. You may be paranoid. You may be very worried about opening your heart. If this is a romantic situation, I feel like you need to open your heart. You need to have courage. You need to be brave. I feel like there is somebody here that is going to be expressing feelings to you as well that you may not uh, trust. You know, you may not trust. You may be, you may be very standoffish 
something could be coming back from the dead whereas something has ended you know with a person and now they they maybe they had a lot going on in their lives they 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 were uh because we had the ten of swords reversed the two of pentacles reversed they 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 had so much going on that they couldn't commit you know um this person may have a lot of regrets they they uh maybe they're fearful maybe they're scared of being cheated they were they were unsure i think there is somebody here that was unsure as to whether they wanted to what they wanted to let what what they wanted to have this person is now free it feels like you have somebody here that was juggling two options now they're making a decision they weren't sure what they wanted they were they may have dealt with somebody from their past that cheated on them or there's some sort of deception here with the seven of swords reversed you know, now they're realizing some sort of truth and they're, and they're breaking free. Ten of Swords reversed is freedom, liberation, the end of suffering. I do think it's going to be an emotional month. You're going to need to master your emotions. We have the King of Cups reversed, the Strength card, and the Page of Cups reversed in one lineup. So that is a need to master emotions, definitely. I think you're, you're going to be highly emotional this month. I got a sneeze that is coming. Excuse me. Um, there's also an emotional loss here, and I don't know if it has to do with a family member or, you know, <laughs> somebody that you were in a relationship with in the past. <coughs> or it's the person that you are dealing with that has had an emotional loss. Maybe it's them that is going through some family sorrow, and that's why they've put you off in some way. Anyway, you are going to be receiving an offer. This is huge. You're definitely going to be in your emotions. I feel like you, you know, somebody sees your beauty. They see your grace. They see your tact. They want to give you something. This person may have been focused more on their money than they were focused on a relationship. And maybe you were too. It's time to open your heart, follow your heart. With the King of Pentacles versus the Queen of Cups, they're mirroring each other. You know, you can choose money or you can choose love, but there's an imbalance here. There is an imbalance. There's a need to balance out the both of them. So you may need to balance out the both of them, and the person that you're dealing with probably needs to balance them out. You know, what's, there's, you, there's a need to uh, balance, okay? You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to have courage, trust, have faith. Somebody really, really, really sees your beauty. They see your, your, maybe you're some sort of healer or something. It feels like you have a healing ability. We have somebody here that is really in their feelings over you. They have a lot of regrets. They had too much on their plate. They couldn't. They couldn't balance out their emotions. They were going through some suffering of their own. Maybe even a death. Maybe they had a death in their family or something like that. Or that somebody has gotten caught doing something against the law and that put things on hold. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. Um, there's been some sort of deception here. This is, this is coming clean. Somebody's gonna be coming clean. They've made some sort of decision. They've been suffering with the Ten of Swords. This is, but the Ten of Swords reversed is liberation. It's freedom. It's it's uh, doing something. Next to the King of Pentacles, we have somebody here that is going to uh, 
well, find their strength with the strength. They're going to find their strength and their courage to do something. Somebody is definitely making you an offer. I feel like this person has shut them down. They have shut themselves down emotionally for some reason. They, they, And I think it's because they were going through some sort of suffering in their life. And they were going back and forth. I also feel like this person was more focused on money than they were love. Now, this could be you as well. Maybe you've been more focused on money than love. There's a need to be kind. There's a need to be open-hearted. There's a need to trust your intuition and uh, open your heart. It feels like some of you have have your heart shut down. You've, you've shut down your heart. You know, you need to open your heart. It's going to take strength. It's going to take courage. It's going to take confidence. I feel like you're in a very strong position. I feel like you have manifested something. You're going to be given an offer. Somebody is going to make you an offer that could make you very, very happy. But I feel like you're going to need to step outside of your feelings, okay? You're going to need to master your emotions. You may need to take a risk. This will increase your value. This because we have value all over in this reading. This is an increase in money, an increase in value, an increase in love. If you can open your heart. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may also have two options here. You have two choices. You could also be dealing with a Leo. There's a lot of, of anxiety over a choice that you need to make. You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a choice. You're gonna, you, may, you may have to let somebody go that has really, 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 really hurt you. You may have to break free. You may have to choose to let that person go. Maybe there's been some cheating. There's been some deception. There's been some lies. Maybe it's with a water sign. I feel like there's definitely been some deception. There's some sort of truth that is going to come to light. I do believe that. I feel like you're, you're going to be put in a position where you have to know your value. You have to make a decision. You may have to uh, reject somebody with the Page of Cups reverse. That is like a rejection. You may have to... Uh, you know, burst somebody's bubble because they cheated, they lied, and there's self-love and self-value here. You may have to say, you know what? I want something solid. I want something stable. I want something real, you know? Somebody has definitely caused you a lot of pain in the past, a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords reversed. This is the ultimate betrayal. I do believe that, you know, there's some sort of repetitiveness here as well. We, there's somebody in your reading, I don't know who it is, that has been juggling, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. They've been juggling two options. And I feel like it's going to get caught. Somebody's going to get caught in some way and they're going to be forced to make some sort of choice. Self-love is big here. Self-love. I feel like I feel like you are uh, going to be in a situation where you have to make a very, very stressful decision. And it probably does. Because the profit and the loss. The two of pentacles. The profit and the loss. So you win some. You lose some. You lose something to gain something. We did have death, which is a transformation. It is an ending that leads to a new beginning. I think you're going to be partnering up with somebody new. And you're going to say be saying goodbye to somebody that uh, really, really, really hurt you in some way. Or you hurt them. Or something like that. This is a change. It is a change. I do feel like somebody is coming back around, whether they're coming back around into your person's life or they're coming back around into your life. This is definitely something coming back around that is going to cause change for you. 
and you're going to be in a, you're going to be in a position where oh my god what should i do this is this is too much for me this is this is too much i feel like it's overwhelming you're going to need to probably master your emotions and follow your intuition to get the answer that you need You have two choices here. I know that you do. You have a choice between somebody that is solid, stable, and secure, and somebody that is emotionally in a bit. These two are right next to each other. So you, you definitely, and then we get the two of pentacles, which is two choices. You have two options. You can choose somebody that is solid, stable, secure, loyal, faithful, or somebody that is wishy-washy. Their emotions are all over the place. They're emotionally withdrawn. They don't have good intentions. They're not open hearted. I mean, you're, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. So I think that you're going to be put in a position where you have to follow your follow your gut, follow your intuition, uh, know your value. Somebody's going to get rejected because you can't have both. Maybe you're cho choosing to go with the earth sign. Either way, this is totally about mastering your emotions and grounding yourself. Be realistic. Be practical. Be practical because I feel like the, there's emotions here. Don't let your big heart get the best of you because you might, might have somebody here that sees your big heart. They want to, they do. This is somebody, they do see your big heart. I see your big heart. You Somebody sees your big heart. They want to take advantage of you. There's, there's two people here. And I think that both of these people see your big heart. Anyway, uh, Virgo, you are going to be receiving an offer. You're going to be receiving an offer from somebody. You're going to have to make a choice. You can't have both. This may There's something that may happen that may be a little chaotic for you. And you are stressed out. You're very stressed out over having to make this choice. Be grounded. Be practical. Be realistic. Know your value, know your worth. Follow your intuition. Somebody sees your beauty in, in whatever way that is. They want to, this is like, I feel like we have somebody here that, that uh, I was gonna say wants to get ahead of the rest, you know, with the seven of swords reversed. There is some sort of hard work that is paying off. Anyway, Virgo, you are going to see an increase. You're going to see an increase in money. You're going to be propositioned by somebody probably that has money. This person is stable and solid and secure. And you also have somebody here that is emotionally unavailable and you're going to have to make a choice. It's a painful, stressful choice. It's 11-11.